You're not to be so blind with patriotism that you can't face reality. Wrong is wrong, no matter who does it or says it. My alma mater was books, a good library. I could spend the rest of my life reading, just satisfying my curiosity. Education is our passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. People don't realize how a man's whole life can be changed by one book. If someone puts their hands on you make sure they never put their hands on anybody else again. If you're not careful, the newspapers will have you hating the people who are being oppressed, and loving the people who are doing the oppressing. Usually when people are sad, they don't do anything. They just cry over their condition. But when they get angry, they bring about a change. So early in my life, I had learned that if you want something, you had better make some noise. We cannot think of being acceptable to others until we have first proven acceptable to ourselves. If you have no critics you'll likely have no success. We need more light about each other. Light creates understanding, understanding creates love, love creates patience, and patience creates unity. The ability to read awoke inside of me some long dormant craving to be mentally alive. A wise man can play the part of a clown, but a clown can't play the part of a wise man. The future belongs to those who prepare for it today. In fact, once he is motivated no one can change more completely than the man who has been at the bottom. I call myself the best example of that. And just because you have colleges and universities doesn't mean you have education. You don't have to be a man to fight for freedom. All you have to do is to be an intelligent human being. As long as you are convinced you have never done anything, you can never do anything. There is no better than adversity. Every defeat, every heartbreak, every loss, contains its own seed, its own lesson on how to improve your performance next time.